Welcome everybody back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a review of Vivo Life's Perform Protein which I've been wanting to try for a very long time so I finally went ahead, bit the bullet and bought it. Um, I was very stoked to, to finally get it. I really like the packaging it came in. Um, I recently had gone gluten free for a little bit and I still am. Uh, so I'm really excited this was gluten free as well so I decided to give it a try. So we're going to be going over like supplement facts, uh, the ingredients list that's in it, um, you know, anything it might help with for building muscle and recovering and repairing muscle breakdown. So it has 113 calories, 25 grams of protein. Now, usually you find a plant-based protein with under 20 grams or 20 grams of protein. Uh, so I was really excited to see that this had a little bit more than its competitors. I think Run Everything Labs was like 20 or 22 grams or something like that, which I really enjoyed their protein as well, which I do have a review of, which I will leave in the description here. Um, but it has 25 grams of raw plant protein. Now raw plant protein is gonna maintain a lot of the nutrients that are in the plants and that they use for the protein base, uh, which is very good. It's a less processed form of plant protein, which probably is why it's a little more expensive than you know any other protein on the market. Now usually when I buy a protein as well, I try to tend to get one without soy, just so I don't con continue consuming soy throughout my day. I, I do eat tempeh, tofu, other soy-based products. So having this that doesn't have soy is a good balance in my diet. Um, it utilizes, let's see, bio-fermented yellow pea protein, uh, cold-pressed hemp protein, uh, da -da -da, spirulina, cracked cell wall cholera, clo chlorella, sorry. Um, so very dense protein. Uh, hemp protein ha carries all the essential amino acids. Um, which a lot of plant-based proteins don't. So having hemp protein in your protein source is a very good one in my opinion. Uh, plant-based BCAA is at a 2-1-1 ratio. So you have leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now that's at 6.2 grams, which is awesome as well. You need that for your muscle recovery um, to continue building muscle and whatnot. It's up for protein synthesis. Uh, another one which I thought was kind of cool is it has turmeric extract. Now, turmeric is going to help with any inflammation that you may have. So after you work out, you know, your, your muscles are going to be inflamed, your blood vessels inflamed. This will help with your inflammation and aid in your recovery as well. Uh, ginger extract will help with uh, inflammation. It also will help with your digestive system. Papain, I'm not sure what papain is. I haven't looked into that. Peppermint leaf and fennel seed. I actually just had fennel seed the other day for probably the second time. The first time I've ever tried fennel seed was at an Indian restaurant and I thought it was really gross. So next time I had it, which was a couple days ago, and I thought it was actually good, and it's kind of like a licorice taste, but it helps with coating your digestive tract uh, and helping with any like uh, muscle spasms that you may ha be having in your digestive tract, which will uh, help with bloating and, um, and gas that you might be having. Uh, also, I like that its sweetness didn't come from artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, and whatnot. Uh, it has natural vanilla flavor, konjac fiber, pink Himalayan salt, stevia extract, Madagascan vanilla bean powder. Now the flavor I did get is the Madagascan vanilla, hence why the Madagascan vanilla bean powder. Now it has gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, non-GMO, accelerates your recovery with a blend of raw superfood protein and antioxidant-rich turmeric extract. Uh, next generation fermented protein and digestive enzymes for faster absorption, cold pressed for maximum bioavailability in each ingredient. So I must say, I'm super stoked on this. I will buy it again, regardless of it being a little more expensive than any of the other ones, because I feel like every product that Viva Lice ha that I've tried that has, they've come out with, I've also tried their Sustain, which I'll go ahead and link up here, um, is always of like its purest form. And to me, that's very important. So you're eliminating any of the processes that might be taken during making the protein powder or whatever supplement you're taking, um, which will make sure that you get the majority of the nutrients that you're intended to have and you're, it's not lost during your process. So definitely recommended. It. It's not gritty at all, which is fantastic. A lot of plant proteins uh, leave a little grittiness, which I don't like. So this is very good mix in smoothies, use with water, oat milk, hemp milk, soy milk, almond milk, whatever you want. Um, I even put two scoops the other day into my protein shake and it wasn't gritty at all and it was fantastic. So definitely recommend this. Go ahead and check them out. I'll go ahead and link their Instagram here so you can find a way back to them. So 
Thank you guys for sticking through the review for me. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, go ahead and leave down in the comment section below. I'm curious to know what your favorite plant protein is because I would love to try some more as I'm always broadening my horizon and like different things I like to try. So thank you guys for watching this review. I appreciate it and I'll see you next time on this channel and on Instagram. Peace out.